Good morning, everyone. In this week's Torah portion, the very first verse, we find that Noah's name is mentioned three times in the opening verse. And our rabbis explain that Noah lived three lives in one lifespan. The first part of Noah's life was the normal, routine, happy life of a human being living with his family, his parents, grandparents. But then, of course, God brought the flood. And now, Noah went through the episode of the flood, building the ark, enduring life in the ark. And then ultimately, the third stage of Noah's life was emerging from the ark and having to rebuild a shattered world. And when you think about these three uh, stages of Noah's life, each one required a different skill set. The first set of his life was just living a tranquil, happy, normal, good life. But then he had to learn how to go into survival mode during the episode of the flood and building the ark and living in the ark. But then ultimately he had to learn how to get the skill set of rebuilding from a destroyed and shattered world. And the truth is that many times people go through that in life. They start their lives happy, normal, healthy, and then something happens. It could be a personal misfortune, an episode in their life, a trauma, and they have to learn how to survive during these moments of crisis. And then as they emerge from their personal arc, they have to learn how to rebuild and take the broken pieces and create a new life. Just think about our generation, the Holocaust survivors who had beautiful, happy lives before the war. Suddenly the war came and they were thrust into the worst tragedy and turmoil of their lives as they were sent to the concentration camps and learn how to survive during these horrific, tragic years. And then they came to Israel or to America or to other countries and had to, had to learn how to rebuild their lives anew. Someone who actually just did this is Jonathan Pollard. Jonathan Pollard was convicted for spying for Israel, having worked for, for the CIA. And he was sentenced to life in prison, something that no spy for an alley country has ever received a life sentence. The longest period that any spy for an ally country served was 10 years, and he served 30 years in maximum security prisons. Now, here he was working for the CIA, a distinguished person, had a normal, happy life. Suddenly he was thrust into 30 years of isolation. But then he came out and he said, I want to go to Israel uh, when he was released in 2015. Five years later, after 35 years of being arrested, he was allowed to go to Israel in 2020. Tragically, his wife passed away last year during COVID. And as he was learning how to rebuild his life again with his wife, Esther, who he married while he was in prison, he's again set into grief and loss on the passing of his beloved wife. Well, just last week, Jonathan Pollard remarried a woman who was 45 years old with seven children who was a widow. And now for the first time in his life, Jonathan Pollard is not only living in Israel, not only married, but a father of seven children. Here is a man who went through three different stages, three different eras within his lifespan. So too each and every one of us. Sometimes life changes on us and we have to adapt. We have to be able to change our mode of operation and adapt to the circumstances and sometimes even learn new skill sets, how to cope and not just cope, but be able to thrive as well. Noah is an inspirational figure for each and every one of us. Have a wonderful day.